going guys and welcome back to the channel today's video i'm responding to matt jones so matt posted a comment recently and he asked me to go into a little bit more detail about a topic i touched on briefly in a previous video and that's how to clean a snowmobile so matt let's haul the snowmobile out and i'll go through what i do to clean my sled Hey Matt, that's an awesome point, you know, and uh, giving your sled a really thorough cleaning is about more than just making the ride look good. Getting abrasive and corrosive dirt and grit and road salt out of the moving parts on your snowmobile is a really important maintenance step in prolonging the life of the sled. So generally before I even start washing this sled, I'll start with an air compressor and I'll just go from, from front to back and I'll just blow all the dust out of everything. So anything that's loose under the hood, I'll blow out. I'll blow out the clutches. I'll blow out the rear suspension in and around the idling wheels. Anywhere I can get some, uh, some compressed air in and get the dust out. All right, next up, you want to pull your belt cover and your belt off and you want to give your clutches a good clean. So I'm going to take the air and I'm going to blow both clutches out. Then I got a good stiff nylon brush and a Scotch-Brite pad. Um, I've also got Bombardier pulley flange cleaner. Now you can use uh, thinners on these, you can use acetone, but you just want to make sure you give the clutches a really good clean, especially inside. You want to make sure that you get all the belt residue and dirt off of the inside of the sheaves. So you're going to have to elevate the back of your sled so the track's off the ground. That'll let you uh, turn your secondary as you go around and clean it. And uh, likewise, the primary, you want to make sure that uh, you've got your ignition off, obviously. Okay, next thing I do is I take a good engine degreaser and a couple of shop towels, and I go around under the hood, under the belly pan, around the exhaust, up inside the footwells, basically anywhere you get uh, grease, which is pretty much everywhere on a two-stroke. Another handy thing to have are these gloves. I always buy a box of those in the spring. You really want to make sure you're paying attention to the rear suspension, right? And just go through underneath. You want to make sure you don't have any gravel jammed in under there. You know, blow it out really good with the air. Even get a rag and wipe it out. Um, you know, because if you get uh, anything that you get caught and trapped between the clips and the, the sliders will wear them out sooner. So the other thing I like to do is get up underneath the tunnel. If you've got a liquid-cooled snowmobile, I like to get up under the tunnel with a nylon brush and just clean out the heat exchangers just to make sure. Because just like your, uh, your track will throw snow up on the heat exchangers to cool it, it you know, in the springtime when you're putting your sled away, can throw mud up there as well so I just like to take a, a nylon brush and just go through and brush those off. So next up we just want to give the sled a good wash from front to back so either get a bucket of water and a good automotive soap or grab a power washer. So now I've got all the loose dirt and debris off of it I'm just going to hit it with uh, some of this XPS spray cleaner and polish. All right, so obviously there's a ton of products on the market to clean your snowmobile. This one is the uh, XPS brand spray cleaner and polish. And, you know, for what it's worth, I thought it did a great job. It uh, cleaned it up nice, left a really nice shine, uh, and it wasn't overly expensive. Next up, now that I've got the sled good and clean, I'm just going to hit the plastic and the vinyl parts with some 303 aerospace protectant. All right, so once you're finished cleaning the snowmobile, don't forget to go back and grease and lubricate your suspension and steering components. So that's how you clean a snowmobile, and I think it's a really important part of your maintenance routine. So Matt, thanks very much for the question. If you guys have questions you want to read or comments you want to reach out to me, you know, obviously post something in the comments below. You can also follow me on Twitter at my old sled or reach out to me on Facebook. I'll put the link in the description below. So I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and mash that like button. Until next time, I'm Dave Clark, and thanks for watching.